What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing some more Pioneer brainstorming here. Um, I don't want to play Land of War Elves because I don't want to go Forest Land of War Elf and then hope to hit a blue source after that. I want to make sure we have um, colored mana for a turn two Oko. We're going to try to play Villainous Wealth here. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but it should be fun. Okay. Is Urborg legal in this format? I think it is. Is it? Guys? Are people just sleeping on Urborg or is it just not even? It is legal. Oh, shoot. That's a gilded good pioneer. Why did I search for pioneer on Urborg? Wow. That's how you can tell it's late, my dudes. All right, let's go to let's go to versions I own. So I don't have to like. All right, we'll put one Urborg in this beast. I'll probably take out one of these. Okay, so are there any other? Oh, hold on, hold on. There's got to be more forests, right? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, they're all they're all allied colored though. Son of a biscuit. Can we play like these? Yeah, I think so. Those are really these are good. Like these lands are really good. That's Never like, heard of them. That's like how new players talk. They're like these lands are really good. Actually, new players would probably think those lands aren't that good. Yeah, they're like, okay, go forest just does that. And you're like, you shut the hell up. <laughs> You shut your mouth. Go back to your Respect corner. Respect your elders. Stop it, Timmy. Why is his name Timmy? Look, because Why look, don't we just import your old deck? Well, because I don't want, like, there's a lot of stuff that is is not, not kosher there. So, what do you mean? Um, because, like, the deck has, like, because it has, like, subpar, it has subpar things because it was a, a, a standard deck, right? So we have Silence the Believers, which is, like, worse than, like, Vraska's Contempt. We'll just find the better versions. Our Cure is replaced by Nissa, right? Is Garrick Wildspeak illegal in this format? No. Dang. No. Oh, no. I knew because when you put it in, it said no. That, that's how I knew, too. <laughs> what about Garrick or the Huntmaster? The Huntsman? Eh. A little slow. I feel like that's a little slow, yeah. So how many removal did you run in the original list? Um... I mean, it was different because it was a standard deck, right? It was a totally different format. Bioblight was in that deck. Four Heroes Downfall were in the deck. We just need four of the, 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 the bougie boy. I'm going to put one Dictate in here. The bougie boy? Yeah, the, like, kill thing guy. Uh, the, the, we don't care, I don't care about fast lands. I would sooner play, like, um, I would sooner play, like, Hinterland Harbor and stuff. The reason we're not is because we want to maximize the number of lands that, come, that, that you can untap and double your mana with for Nyssa. Because they're trying to make big-ass villainous wealth. The Bougie Boy? Yeah, Murderous Rider. I think Murderous Rider is very, very good. Definitely a four of. I think it's a three of. Four of. Mm, okay, I'm going to go three for now. You need to murder things, man. Maybe. I'm going to put in two Woodland Cemeteries because I am pretty high on the... We do have two Fatal Pushes. Cabal Stronghold? What about like... I don't even know what that does. I mean, we don't have any swamps, What about like right? one Assassin's Trophy? Or two Assassin's Trophy? It's not even here. Where is it? Yeah, we don't have basic swamps. We have like... Oh, because of because of the Urborg? No, that doesn't work that way. Hmm? Oh, because no? they're not basic swamps. Right. Right? That only works for your... If you have like your actual basic forest out. That only works for that. It's still fine though. Yeah. Oh, Abrupt Decay is good. Over Assassins? It's probably two of each. And then take out Fatal Push. I like that. You just search for Ass twice and then it shows up. Sandstep Citadel. Why wouldn't we play uh, the non-Abzan one? <laughs> We need some card draw. Does Pulse get only creatures? I think so, right? 
Is Maelstrom Pulse legal? No, right? No. Oh, man. Uh, return a creature or a land. Okay, it's lands too. This is 52 cards. We're trying to ramp to Villainous Wealth. What else is good in this, in like a Sultai deck? I feel like we need some kind of card draw. I think Wicked Wolf is actually just a fine card to play. What kind of card draw do you need? Just something. I don't know. Like a two of. Tireless Tracker does seem good, actually. Spiral? What is that? Oh, this could be a Hostage Taker deck for sure. Yeah, Hostage Taker is just better than Wicked Wolf, right? Uh, no, not in this deck. Because this guy gets indestructible with your food and like you have four Okos for foods. I do like scavenging ooze in the sideboard. Um, what was the other card I was going to add? Hostage. Hostage. I would just play like two wolf, two hostage. I don't think you need three wolf. Okay. Okay, Michael. Okay. Just split it up, you know? Okay, Michael. And then just play four or three chemicers in straight. Chemicers in straight? Yeah. What the fuck is a chemicers in straight? Or play ops. What about Thoughtseize? That's good. Thoseize. Hmm. If you're faced, fetching enough, removing enough things, you could treasure cruise. Uh, should we take out one Nissa? Three Nissas, one Dictate? I kind of like that. Is the Nissa just better? No, not necessarily, because if you draw a bunch of like watery graves or... I guess we could do a bunch of... What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Got 18 forests. Yeah, I think she's just way better. You could probably cut one dictate. Well, we only have one dictate. Well, then cut it. Okay. If you're fetching it uh, with the tracker, food, and uh, Vraska 4 seems decent. Oh, uh, Vraska 4 does seem pretty good, actually. Go with food. Let's put one of you over here. I could see this being a good starting point. I just don't like the lack of card advantage. Could one copy of Villainous in the side or you know, like fairy that lets you um you don't like what? The lack of what? Card draw. You really like no card draw. Yeah, we have card advantage. We have Tireless Tracker is a good advantage, Wicked Wolf, Oko, Hostage Taker. Like these are like this draws us cards. Like we have a lot of card advantage. We just don't have ways that are drawing us cards. Do we want to go down to 24 lands if we have four of each of these? You could probably greed that. Greed that? I don't think you need the island. Well, I oh. want to be able to search for a Fable Passage. Oh, okay. Like, if we have no blue source, I want to be able to get one. I don't like cutting forests, though. Well, I'm going to cut one forest. Six forests is fine you in the main deck, cut, like, I think. You could cut, like, a water grave. Yeah, plusing Vraska to draw a card and gain a life. Maybe we just put another Gra Vraska in here. I kind of like that. Why don't we play one pull for tomorrow over one Vraska? Pull from tomorrow? Yeah. It's double blue, though. Eh, true. That is a little rough. What about Hydroid Crassus? Is Pack Rat legal? Yeah, it's in Return to Ravnica. It's literally in the, the set that, oh, that, thing that started broken. it all. Scarab God seems very, very good. I just want to play Scarab God in all these decks. Cut one, this, cut one Vraska for Scarab God? I really like the Vraska, though. No, well, you just play one on one. Hold on, let me let me get the cards that I think I know we're gonna we're gonna use. Nissa, who shakes the world? And meanwhile, mana traders. Oh look, another person wants an Oko. <laughs> That's literally what they're thinking. Yes, they're like, oh good, everybody wants Oko. Man, adding Scarab God makes this a Scarab God deck. It's so war. It is. It's really format defining. Also, Scarab got being like 75 fucking tickets online is just a... Glimpy? What's Glimpy? Oh, yeah, they can also just turn the... Um, they can also just turn Scarab got into it. I think I like the way this deck looks so far. I think it's actually pretty sweet. I don't know if it's any good, but we'll see. Uh, two of those guys. What else do we want? 
cast oh no cast down I don't think we need some kind of some kind of board wipe right like uh cry of the carnarium is that really gonna get there against like the aggressive decks for sure I don't know man I feel like all the aggressive decks don't have two twos anymore like what We literally play against two decks where it would have been good against. It kills Death Ray Shamans. It kills all the one one Seder Wayfinders. It kills uh, all the like Blister Pods and all that nonsense. Are you leaving? What are you doing? I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'll see you later, buddy. I'll miss you. Just kidding. Oh, we can play Languish. Man, people be high on Languish in this chat today. Killing one more mana. It's not about that. It's about it killing our Sylvan Caryatids and our Tireless Trackers and things. Whereas Cry of the Carnarium kind of gets around that. Bantu's Last Reckoning could be good, actually. But then, like... I don't like that card. The problem is we don't have, I'd like... I'd rather play Crux of Fate at that point. We don't have non-creature ramp. Oh, our stream just died. But, like, our trade literally went through. So that's cool. Um, I need to buy some cries. I don't know why... I don't know why the stream died, guys. But um, we are still we're still on Magic Online doing things, so that's cool. So the internet's up. Putrefy is just worse than like Assassin's Trophy, right? Or Abrupt Decay. So this is gonna be only you guys are getting the YouTube exclusive content right now. Cry. Oh, we reconnected. <sighs> refresh, refresh. Do, 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 This deck is really interesting because it's kind of posing as like just a basic Sultai deck, but then it's also got like a, villain, a sweet villainous wealth package. What's our? What are we need? Three more sideboard slots. How about like? What about negates? I kind of like I kind of like negate. I also like like unmoored ego. What about two unmoored ego? Two negate. Yeah. And I'll take out one card. Discard spell. Where's my good negates? Oh yeah, boom. Kaboom. My good negates. They're a little good for Johnny boy. They're little good for Johnny boy. Is take that out, you can probably take out a fatal push. I agree with that. All right, let's see how this works. This looks okay. I, I kind of like it. I kind of think it looks fun. Let's do it. I think it actually looks pretty competitive. It's got a bunch of good cards. The only cute thing is Villainous Wealth. Is Villainous Wealth at the top end, which is just a fun, sweet thing to do. What so. you have Nissa's is not super unreasonable. And we have Gooses and yeah, and Sylvan Caryatids and stuff. And Sylvan Caryatids is also a solid blocker. So Blood Smurf, holy. Shit. Also, if you go turn two, someone carry out it into turn three. Blood Smurf. That's metal AF, dude. I'm going to keep this hand, even though it's kind of slow. If only. If only, my dudes. <laughs> it is Wednesday. <laughs> you just can't stop yourself. I it's think like a, it's like a sickness. I think my dudes is my new thing. You're a sickness, you fucking. No, just... was... <coughs> <coughs> what? No. What? Those are some guru lands. Ooh. Detention sphere is always charm Narset, huh? Don't care about you. You're obnoxious. Getting rid of Narset for sure. I imagine Guru Lands are worth nothing online. They're worth nothing online. And I have a butt ton of them because they're great. I think this is not a, like a scarcity issue. Oh, they drew it. That thing's gone. Pew. Man, Narset's a real piece of junk. I think this is a deck we're going to have a bad time against.
Wait, you're going to have a bad time against this deck? Yeah, because like, our removal is kind of useless. What are they going to do against this? Well, they don't care about that. <laughs> but be dead. If we, I think if we can jam Anissa, we're probably ahead if we can get that to resolve. I want to add a counter to B zone. Get in the zone! Now you can answer it. The B zone! Ooh, Carnage Tyrant? That's a dude. That would be a good sideboard card. <sighs> machi, machi. Because, you know, control just concedes it to that. It concedes it to that. It the concedes. It the concedes. Are you talking to me? No, not necessarily. So they don't have a thing for this, is what you're saying? Uh, we didn't see one. I'm sure they probably drew it though. I mean, I think we just do it. Jam it. Jamoni. J j j jamoni. You cursed Mucho with the Blight? Man, he was born with the Blight. Oh, they're going to cast him out? Damage is already done, my dude. I got an Abrupt Decay to, to get rid of this? Just kidding, that never works. Did you say jam Jamoni? Oh man, and they just, how did they, wow. Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this a golden goose? Is this I'm surprised love? they cast down. Like, uh, do they really care about Oko? Yes, everyone Why? cares about Oko. Because then we can start making three threes. Oh, I forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget about that part. <laughs> I forgot about one of the most oppressive parts of the card, that he literally just makes a 3-3 three -three every other turn, while also plus 3-ing himself each time. Oh, God. Can I hostage take that guy? Wow, I just get my goose back? Come on, Black Source. That's not a Black Source. You're correct. I know. Can't get nothing past you, buddy. <laughs> buddy, I know it. You could decay it. Yeah, because this guy doesn't do much next turn. He does literally nothing. Wow, you don't have to be rude about it, okay? I think I do. <gasps> oh, shoot. I wish this wasn't... If we can top take an Overgrown Tomb, we can tap everything for Nyssa, untap the Overgrown Tomb, add a black and a green, and then abrupt decay this idiot. Or just attack it, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. It's all happening. Well, I'm glad we have artifact removal, uh, enchantment removal on the sideboard. Just kidding. Hmm. Swift end to this idiot. I mean, really just want mana here. Like... Are they deciding which of their mediocre pioneer counter spells to use? Oh no, they're just gonna let it die. If it dies, it dies. That's from Rocky. Remember Rocky? Who's that? Rocky was a character that was played by Sylvester Stallone in the 1970s. He was a boxer. And he was like, Adrian! Remember that? Yeah, you're really selling me here. I know. Let's see what you got here. Gideon Jura. If it bleeds, we can kill it. That is definitely not. A that is Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> from Predator. There's a lot of planeswalkers, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. What you said is correct. That's true. Land. Fucking killed it. I'm just gonna concede. We can't beat this with this stupid Gilded Goose draw. We have 24 lands. We got greedy. Oh, Nagates, Thoughtseize, Thought Erasures. Um. These all seem good. Murderous Riders seem good. Wicked Wolf can come out and Hostage Taker can come out. Yeah, just play 61. Wow, and Constructed? Sure. This actually seems great against them. Like, we can just steal all their, their nonsense. I think I want Abrupt Decay. Yeah, I can see... Um, 
I could see an elder spell. That would be that'd be sick. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? <laughs> what? Are you just quoting that meme? Yes. Okay. I guess you could be quoting the Eric Andre show to be specific. I love the Eric Andre show and thanks in no small part to Hannibal Is there somewhere Burris. I can watch all that? I don't know. Does that stream anywhere? Because I would fucking love to just binge some Eric Andre show. Yeah, that'd be great. Is it? It says Hulu right there. Available oh, on Hulu. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna watch some of that after this. Oh yeah, I'm putting some Eric Andre. Oh, we gotta remember to watch the Star Wars thing. I keep forgetting. I watched it. Well, we we're watching it again. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm for sure watching it again. But I'm just saying that I watched it. I just don't know where that movie's gonna go. Everyone's bird gonna... up? What does bird up even mean? Shut up or bird up? You don't know about that? I don't. What is that? That's a myth realized. What does that do? It realizes a myth. Be more specific. No, uh, whenever you cast an on creature spell, you put a myth counter on it, or a, a, a lore counter on it, and then it, you can make it a monk with a power and toughness equal to the myth, the lore counters on it. So it becomes a big boy? Yeah, it becomes a fat daddy. Fat daddy's coming through. Boy, I hope not. You don't hope fat daddies are coming through? No. They're just going to Supreme Verdict and we're going to be like, negate idiot. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work out too well for you. You don't? Oh, no, I don't think so. I'm going to let that happen. Yeah, we don't really need a second one. It's not a big deal. Next turn, I will Nisa. And plus, if they do have Supreme Verdict, wasting a negate to keep this guy around does not seem ideal. You know Supreme Verdict is uncounterable, right? This guy I'm getting rid of. No, my point is, if we counter the Essence Scatter to have the Sylvan Carry added, and then they play Supreme Verdict, oh, okay. and they kill both of them anyway... That's bad, yeah, yeah. Right. Mm. I don't know if they're going to have Supreme Verdict, though, because we didn't really show them any creatures. Well, we showed them two Gooses and a Sylvan Carry added, right? Those are, like, non-essential creatures, though. You're a non-essential creature, you dirt bird. God. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana for Villainous Wealth. That's pretty sick. Do you even, Eric Andre? Pratzer, I don't know you, do I? Do I know you, Matt? Are you a Matt Pratzer? Oh, fuck, I knew. See, I, t I don't think they're going to have Supreme Verdict. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we still got this, huh? <laughs> I want you to stop it. I don't care what you want. I'll never... I'll never live by your rules. You don't bird up. I birded up once. You don't know me. You don't know my bird life. Oko does make this a 6-6. Six, six. That's true. Time to deliver a pizza ball. Okay, I'm, I have no idea what's even happening right now in this chat. This guy coming at me? Do I get to just trade with the land? And then they tap out, and then we get to kill it with a murderous rider. I'm really excited about this. They're going to go like, put a counter on it. And I'm going to be like... Hmm. <sighs> um... Goodbye, my friend. I'll miss you in the end, but they had a supreme will, and we got countered. We're one mana shy of supreme willing. That's pretty good. Well, sad things are happening right now. They only have one card in hand. That's true. I 
Oh, beautiful Goosey. Is ultimate next turn? What's that do? I don't even know. Untap. No. 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 Yeah, that's fine. Uh, it's lands you control have indestructible. Search your library for any number of forest cards. Put them onto the battlefield. Tapped. Then shuffle your library. Seems good. Seems good. Seems like a pretty good deck center. You seem like a good deck thinner. You ever go to the uh, hardware store and get a get a bunch of deck thinner? Yeah. You never did that. You lying piece of. St oh, God. You don't know me. I know you. I know you. I know your games. Can I just draw one villainous wealth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, villainous wealth me one time. Villainous wealth me one more time, Michael B. Is <laughs> it's not gonna be. We need some sort of artifact slash enchantment removal in this deck. I don't think we have it. I mean, the thing is, like, we have two abrupt decay, two assassin's trophy, and two Veraska to take care of things like this. We haven't seen any of them. That's fine. You have this and one other card in hand. Villainous wealth off the top, one time. I'm just chump blocking this with a goose. Doesn't have trample because it's a white creature. Come on, V wealth. It's not bad. Oh go! Search the yeah. library for any number of forest cards. I mean, it thins our deck real hard. <laughs> it does thin our deck real hard. I think we go for it. Then you can also play an Oko and make a 3-3. Three, three. They kind of play tapped? Yeah. Oh, that'd be insane if they didn't rent. Why would that matter? We don't have anything to play with it. I don't know, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, we get to block no matter what because our lands are indestructible. So we can block that guy forever. That seems real good. That's pretty good, actually. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't double our mana anymore, but we're searching out like. But we're getting like twelve lands. Bro. Also, it does get. Um, oh, it's only forest cards. Does forest card mean? It doesn't say basic forest, does it? It doesn't say basic. Yeah. Then you just get them all. It doubles your mana, but it doesn't. That's true. I still believe, still believe. I think we just make this a 3-3 yeah. three, three and attack with both. I would just only kill the Nissa and leave the land back. Oh, never mind. Well, this has Vigilance. Oh, yeah. My bad. Oh, my bad. All right. Let's do it. Oh man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's really hard to see them all. Alright, let's do like one of these jobbies instead. You. Is that all of them? No more forest cards to search for. Click OK. Uh, no. 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 Okay. Indestructible haste vigilance seems good. Okay. Your turn. That seems good. Wow, we ultimated Nissa. I'm game. I am game. Watch, they're gonna be like Armageddon. That wouldn't work because their lands are indestructible. It's a good point. It's a solid point you just made. Oh, they can they can get rid of this guy though. I guess that's yeah, fine. They can bounce just... it, whatever. Well, they didn't. Huh. Huh. 
mean, I guess they don't really need to. It's just a 3-3. Right, but it's indestructible. Yeah. Oh, is Teferi not land permanent? That explains it. This guy also costs one to activate. Yeah, that's rough. Something good. Really? You're going to draw a land? <laughs> we Four, just eight, nine, ten, ten, 13. eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> Uh, we just thinned out like 12 lands and it's just like oh, land ball let's make a food Thank you. so we can block one we put Teferi to two they're probably going to kill this but then can't we actually make yeah, we can. this a 3-3 three, three? what does that do though I don't know what it does <laughs> I think it just stays at 3-3 three, three, right I don't know what that means. Um, if you made the land a 3 3 at lethal, but they're going to block. Yeah, they just block it, though. That's not lethal. They have a. They got a blocker. I don't think they're just going to randomly let us kill them. PC Vogel, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I mean, ideally, they block this guy, right? Okay, you block there, sure. There's no way they're blocking the indestructible guy. Oko is not a real magic card. Oh, doesn't it die too? Yeah, yeah, because it, it has three damage yeah. on it. Yeah, it's it's insane. Oko, no Joko. And now they can't blink the Oko. They can put a counter on this, but that doesn't. It's not enough. 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15 mana. <laughs> so we can Villainous Wealth for 12. Seems good. I'm not a sub to not be acknowledged. What a day catching Frank Live playing Sultai and Pioneer. Celebrating another month and Mutual is there. Yeah, that's... Oh, a dig through time. That's a solid You basically draw. hit all the bells and whistles. Hmm? What, the stream is at a peak. It's true. You might as well retire. Yeah, you might as well. This is probably the best it's going to get. And we have Fat amount of viewers fat amount of fat amount of viewers yeah people love pioneer apparently even if we're doing i mean it's the coolest new thing look at all our indestructible lands man i wish they all could attack too me too that'd be cool like what if it made them all three threes? Oh my god that would be broken <laughs> dude uh dig and treasure crews are significantly less oppressive when without you, fetch lands when you know and fetch also lands. there's not like ponder the, the only thing there is opt like there's no ponder there's no uh, what's the other one? Uh, you know all the ponders, the Thought ponder, scour. Thought scour. There's no, uh, all the modern ones that aren't legal. Serum visions, yeah. There's oh no serum God, visions. Look at all these things. Can we just villainous wealth here? Just villainous wealth me one friggin' time. Also, Vraska being able to sacrifice all these forests is insane. Why? Because we just oh, have just so many water. extra lands, oh, yeah, sure, yeah okay. so we can just draw cards and gain life. Yeah, no preordain. Hit me, Michael, one more. Fuck. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, we get a card, I guess. Exchange an artifact or creature control and target creature. So we have no other artifacts, so I guess we're just making a food token. Hit me, Michael. That was a horrible sound. I agree with you. I don't even know why I played it. Because I want to be able to thin my deck. So. You can't. Why? Oh, wait. We have... We still have basics. Swamp. Yeah. Okay. And we have an island. We don't have... Yeah, we don't have forests, but... My bad. Yep. We're just... This is... We're just eating... Uh... Can't you not sacrifice it because it's indestructible? That's terrible. <laughs> just terrible. Oko is at 8 right now. It's pretty good. Too bad you can't get Planeswalkers out of this deal. Where does this Dovin's Veto... Oh, fuck! Come on! Really? Yeah, that's pretty good for them. Oh, now. boy. Yep. Draw a card. I mean, their card advantage is un un unbelievable right now. Did they whiff? 
Or do they got a time raveler? Sure. Well, now they can just bounce this, right? No, it's non... Oh, it's an artifact creature, so they can just bounce our forest. Yep, that's pretty good. Now they can attack Oko with Gideon. There's no Scaraboard in the main deck. No. Oh, they can just get rid of Oko with that. Also good. Man, they're... These... This is great to have this much card advantage and actually draw it. Can you imagine if we had a Tireless Tracker on board when we ultimated Nyssa? That would have been sweet. I don't think we've seen one Tireless Tracker. We haven't seen one Vraska. We haven't seen one Villainous Wealth. Villainous Wealth doesn't even matter now because they have Dovin's Veto up. Yeah. Which is pretty unbeatable for us. Yeah, it's like the stones. It's very good. Yeah, I don't think we can come back from this. I don't think so either, but... Unless you have to destroy all Planeswalkers card. Run around. Maybe you should have some Elder Spells from the board. Well, I mean, this is the first time we faced a deck with this many Planeswalkers, right? Yeah, but I feel like this is definitely going to be a, a kind of deck that's going to be This stupid control deck? Yeah. <laughs> this is unbelievable. That's what you get for not thinning your deck, Frank. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There were six lands left in 34 cards. We hit one of them. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm going to go back and I'm going to see what we might have drawn. Gilded Goose. Nissa. Yeah. I mean, like, the problem is most of our spell, most of our cards are... This is probably a bad matchup for us in general. That point. Just because, like, they're doing the Planeswalker thing better. I really don't think it had anything to do with the deck. I think we thinned our deck significantly and we still ended up losing to... Uh, what we lost to. I'm going to take out one crime. I'm going to add one more negate because I think it's relevant. Um, Elder Spell. Elder Spell. I think Elder Spell might be better than Unmoored Ego. I only have one. Just play one. Yeah, one seems fine. Take out Scavenging Ooze because we also have Unmoored. Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's try this again. Scoot the f scoot over. Fine. There. Happy now? No, I guess not. Ooh. Thoughts on the breach deck? I don't even know what that is. So I could not say. Post it. Post do any of your cards it. draw cards? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Vraska would have been a good draw. We have two of Vraska. Villainous Wealth is basically card draw. You're drawing off their deck, interestingly enough. Um, and their deck would have been sweet to draw off of, too, I think. Hit a bunch of Planeswalkers. Um, Tireless Tracker is also good. Oko is a form of card advantage. Generator Servants. Oh, this deck looks sweet. So what is this? What isn't it, Michael? One Emrakul. Emrakul's up to 30 bucks now, thanks to Pioneer. Three World Spine Worm. Three Combustible Gear Hulk. One Samet. Four Ilharg. God, I love Ilharg. It's very poor. This deck looks sweet. There's no Breach, though, because be, you can't be breaching things in here. Why not? Because through the Breach isn't legal. Yet. What the hell does that mean? They might reprint it. It's, yes, it's clearly an homage. Right, right, right. I was just mentioning. What did you say to me? They might reprint it. Yeah, I don't think so, man. You don't know. Mm. You don't know anything, you stupid. Stupid. Is it possible for you to shut the hell up? No. I know. Can't be done. I like turn two Sylvan Chariotted. If, okay, if we get one more land, we get this guy. How much biddies do I have to donate for you to play this? <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty sweet, I'm going to be honest. Oh, ew. Yikes. White Border Mountain? Yeah, but it's a John Avon art. That's a real. That's one, that's one of the better mountains, too. But you could just use the Mirage version. Don't care, it's White Border. Oh, wow. That's really... Throw you know, it in the trash. You know what's really good about against Burn Monastery Swift Spore? Swift Spore? Uh, Sylvan Carry added. Hex, hex proof. Not if they have two spells. They don't. They might. They might. Does the monitor matters? Does the does the monitor matters in card? What does that mean? 
Ampler, Ampler, what are you? What was? Oh, oh, I, I get it. This is from our um. This is from our conversation, right? From our streaming conversation. Wait, right? Is that what's going on? Um. Did you already switch out the monitor? No, this is the old one still. I was gonna say that that have been fast. No, it's they're so huge that it's. Okay, you're shocking my face. I'm gonna block one. Sure, I'll take two. This is yeah. This is a spicy Lapouche list. I hate you, Sal. <laughs> What's a, v, a VA monitor? What is that? What am I missing here? So, you don't need 144 hertz if you're just playing card games. Um, did I just steal one of these guys? I feel like I do. Yeah, if you're playing Overwatch, you might want something like that, but like shooters, stuff like that. Shooties? Yeah, if you're playing shooties, you probably want a good refresh rate. But also, like, I have two monitors. Well, I had two monitors. Now I just have one really wide 49-inch monitor. But um, the reason being, like, I can have a browser and OBS over here, and I can have Magic Online over here, and I can have chat over here. 4K is pretty unnecessary. Yeah, I agree with that. Is this 4K? No, this is... It's not 4K. It's like it's like 1440. So it's not 4,000. It's like 22.8K or something, whatever that is. Almost 3K. You should go to PAX East. I love PAX. It was easier to go to PAX when people were paying me to go to PAX. You don't say. It's true. Like if they're, I think they're tempted to be like, like kill this. Who paid me to go to PAX? I went to Beth I went to PAX with Bethesda a bunch of times, and they paid me to go. I mean, do I just block here? Yeah, or fifteen. You can take one. I will take one. I agree with you. I will give you exactly one French fry to go. To wow, that's you can't even get me. You can't even give me a whole French fries. A whole a whole thing of French fries. That's really sad. Oh, if we blocked, they would have jetted this thing? Shoot. See, I told you. You did tell me, man. You saved my life. <gasps> wow. Yeah, making food seems pretty good. I'm no Jebediah Smith. I thought that's what your name was. <laughs> you lying piece of shit. That was my birth name. I don't go by it anymore. I think you know a guy. You think you fucking know Jebediah Smith over here? You don't know anything about Jebediah Smith. They have two cards in hand? Yeah, we're just making a few. Is here. Gruel and Monored the best for aggro? It's the format's way too early to tell anything like that. Yeah, I think that's I think that's true. Or they don't call me Jebediah Smith. They don't call you that, you stupid lion piece of shit. I mean, pack rats in the format. Maybe mono black's the best aggro deck. Stop it! Don't even say things like that. Don't talk like that, Michael. You don't want to hear the truth. I don't want to hear your lies. They're just the truth telling boy. The truth telling boy? Yeah. What does that even mean? You know. I. No one knows. Look into it. You look, know. Look into it. Just look into it, okay? I'm just gonna block because if you want to kill your own stupid monastery yeah, sword spear, snap block with that. Should I double block? No. Don't be stupid. Well, here's the thing. If I double block, uh -huh. if we double block, this thing right. dies, right? Sure. If they play a spell to kill... They can blow you out pretty hard here. I wouldn't do that. I'll just block with this guy then. No, I'll just block with this guy. Yeah. You have two cards. Sure. Make him waste a card on it. I will. I will make him. Waste it. Jamaican it be crazy. <laughs> Hey, look, they had a thing. See, that would have been bad. Put Noko to three, huh? No, don't like that. I'm going to go back up to five. We could just gain six life here. Like, come on. I don't think we need two yet. Two, three, four, five. Shaking that world. 
Ooh, aggressive. Well, this stays on tap. Don't forget vigilance. Oh yeah. You always forget that. Vigilance. I always forget about that vigilance. Don't forget that vig, bro. And then we can also tap it to crack a food if we need to. So. Are we playing standard? It sure feels like it. No, the thing is, standard is just so goddamn powerful that you can play these standard cards in yeah. in oh, the God, just a house. in Pioneer. And, and Murder Shrider like, is like one of the best cards they've printed in a long time, too. I'm a big fan of Murder Shrider. If you want to tell me Hero's Downfall is better, you're wrong. All right, do we bring anything? There are some decks where it would be better, but I'm going to bring in these one. pushes. I'm going to take out Thoughtseize. Yeah, Thoughtseize seems bad. Scavenging Unity seems good. It, does it seem might gain us some incremental life. <laughs> Villainous Wealth seems actually pretty bad here. You don't say. Uh, we're gonna negates, I guess. One of villainous wealth. Do it. Okay, I'll do it. I ain't too. I ain't too scared. Actually, that's probably not good. Okay, I'll take it out again. It's probably just bad. Probably don't need it to win. Or the spark ruined everything. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Oko's really ruined everything. <laughs> It wasn't the set with 36 Planeswalkers in it. It was just Oko. <laughs> yeah. Narset is a bit of a pushed card, too, though. Well, yeah, so is 3 Mana Teferi. Oh, yeah, that one, too. So is this. This card is... This is that card's from that same set? Yeah. This oh, is okay. also War of the Spark. Oh, yeah, because it has the static. Yeah. The, it's got the spiky hair. Is that what you're referring to? No, the static ability. That oh, only, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Only Planeswalkers are static abilities. Yeah, you're right. It's got the static. This hand's bad. You know what's weird about card design? Tell me. Like, before they, they put static abilities on Planeswalkers, I would have never thought that could be a thing. Like, it just never entered my mind. Now you know. That's crazy. What will I think of next? When you think you know, Oko. What if you think you don't know? Then get wrecked. Hmm. Deal with it. Did they? Did they? No, I guess they kept seven. It was a little slow. So here's the thing: people are like, "Oh, people said Narset was unplayable." F Magic players are the absolute worst judges of anything, and because everyone wants to have an opinion, everyone also, wants even the pros to get be it wrong right occasionally. So, actually, the pros get it wrong pretty often. Oh my god, Katie, what's going on? Like, it's just really hard oh, to... Dear. It's really, really hard to evaluate cards before, like, it gets put to the screws in a tournament. Puts to the screws? Put to the screws, yeah. You ever heard of that? I don't think that's a saying. I think you're thinking tighten the screws? No. Put to the screws? Yeah. Can someone confirm what that's a saying? Put the screws on someone. Put, put the screws on, that's what I meant. Okay, not... Put the screws on him, though. That just means... That means to put pressure on someone or to do something. Yeah. Like threatening them. The format's got to be... you got to put the screws on the format. I think you're just making... I think you're just making the shit up, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. No, it's put the screws. That's a thing. It's not put to. It's put the screws on someone. Excuse me? <laughs> I hate you. Do you? Yes, very much. I don't know about all that, though, man. That sounds... Yeah, this deck's pretty pretty good against aggro, it seems. Bunch of removal, lots of supplemental life gain. I definitely don't think they downplay cards because they want to pick up the cards that they know are. No one's going to have that big of an impact on the market by just, like, lying about cards and be like, hey, oh, three Murderous Rider, huh? That seems something. See, look, the people believe in me. They no. know about the screws. No one believes in you. Can you brew a Maze's End deck, please? Woof! That's got to be a lot of torture. What if you play the Fires deck? Okay, so wait, wait. What Both just happened was end. they didn't play a land and they didn't attack us? Oh, we have a 3-3. Three, three, so they have no spells. Right, yeah. but it just means like they don't have anything, right? Yeah, no, they're dead. They kept the one lander. It didn't work out. I'd like to show you all my food aggressive deck. I don't even attack. You would? Yeah. What are they going to do? What are you going to do if I attack you, huh? 
Is the Lusk Jamie? Oh my god. Oh my god, I have two I have two Neils in the chat right now. Dubs Neils. That's amazing. The Lusk is Katie's brother, Jamie. Oh, that's crazy. So now that's look, see, Michael B is right at the thing. I don't think so, Jamie. I don't think so, buddy. You know, so far, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> He's an okay dude. What if we did start streaming late at night, like non magic games, though? Like we can play through games that way. I'm down. Hmm. I might be onto something here. We don't have to do it every night. We could do like every other night or something like that. Every night, Michael. I don't know about every night. Look, look how many murderous riders I just turned on. Seven. Literally all of them. Oh, we have trip murderous riders. Yeah. yeah. We can't lose. They do deals too when they a thing. But well, we have food tokens, so. I'm just going to play this queen and then kill this dude because it does nothing. And then we just make another 3 3. So. They can't win here. They're dead. Man, Oka is. No Joko? Yeah. Yeah. That card is not fair for Mono Red. <laughs> this card's not fair for anything. Like, it's just too good. I literally think this card is too good. It's been a long time since I've thought a card was too good in multiple formats, but it's actually just insanely good. You can play any any creature. Name a, a creature you're excited about. Gristlebrand, Emrakul. You know the only the only oh, format. Like, I'm gonna get three three. The only format I won't be played in probably is Legacy and Vintage, just because there's not enough creatures. I could see you playing this in Legacy. No, because you can turn your Moxes into three threes. Oh, that's pretty good. That's like WinCon right there, and plus ones to do it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Or you can turn their things, like their Lodestone like Golems, brands or whatever. into 3-3s. Three yeah. Oh, that's really good, yeah. Right? Like, it, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah. I guess there haven't been any Legacy f tournaments in a while, so it's hard to say. But oh, Oko make a food. Vraska turn it into one life instead of three and a card. It's your dad. Wow, can you imagine if your dad was in this chat too? That'd be real weird. Make a mazes on deck with Golos. Ooh, I like that. That sounds cool. Next turn, steal dude for lethal. How can I do that? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we steal this. How are we going to steal it? Well, we have. Like exchange? We have Oka. We can exchange. That's only seven, though. Oh, we make this. Oh, no. Mm. No, we don't. We can't do that. We can't do both. It'll, you can only... Yeah, Oko's pretty thinking. good, but you can't activate it twice a turn, Frank. <laughs> it's, it's not that good. All right, we're just going to play this. I still think you probably just kill it, though. And we could just murder us Rider and then make this a thing, yeah, too. Yeah, I would do that. I thought we agreed on... <laughs> what? Did we? Did you even... She does want you to play she that She did deck. say that in the chat. That's true. Uh, Swift Dan, I'm going to kill this guy. One, two, a three... And we can also leave him a food in, sense, in case he has a crazy play or something. Oh, we are at eight. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Yeah, just, just leave up a, a food activation. And you can plus Nissa. Well, i got to make another food token, actually. Okay. Okay. See if I even care. Ye okay. Oh, we can actually just sack a food then. Because we already gained a life from this, so I don't think there's anything we can really... Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're at nine. I don't know what they're going to do. They're gonna die, and even we're virtually at twelve. So I have no idea how they're gonna do that with three mana, two mana, three mana, two mana, three mana, two mana, three mana. Give me Simic Flash. Simic Flash seems pretty sweet. Oh, you get Torrential Gear Hulk in the Simic Flash in the uh, Pioneer Simic Flash room. Is uh Summoning Trap legal? No, it's not. Dang it. Yeah, we could have stolen the Swift here, but it just doesn't do anything. Like it's one more damage, and we don't get to make um a food or a three. What did you say? Is what legal? Summoning Trap. No, I got real sad about that, too. I mean, we're at nine, and they have, like, they have to play three spells in order to kill us. So we could always respond to the third spell by gaining three. Yeah, so. there's no way. Lightning Bolt's not legal, so I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think there's any combination There's no cards. one. Yeah, there's no Lava Spike. There's no Lightning Bolt. There's no... Like, um, you, like the best you could have is Boros Charm to deal us four. You can't have Boros Charm. That's, like, original Return to Ravnica, right? Or is that... I thought that's where the No, you're right, because they had his Aureus Charm. God, I get the yeah. Ravnica's confused. No yeah, Rift no Bolt. Bolt. Yeah, there's yeah. like... And Rift Bolt suspend anyway. It costs yeah, they'd be dead. If you don't. Yeah, they're dead. God, what a new... I know. I don't know any sets, man. I'm so bad. 
all these Ravnicas run together. There's only ten Ravnicas, so it's it's <laughs> it just gets. There's confused. Ravnica, return to Ravnica, return to return to the Ravnica. Rid the Ravnica. You just push this, right? No, I'm just gonna pass and kill them. Oko's at eleven. <laughs> like, come on, come on. I can also just Vraska this guy. It's like we're gonna kill this in case they do have lightning bolt to kill one of the food tokens. Or I can just push it. <laughs> Keep Frasca alive. I'll take my two and go to seven. I don't think you're going to be able to kill me. These guys also have, like, lifelinks. So we can literally just hard cast them as Vampire Nighthawks. Ravnica 3, back into hood. Man, I can't wait for that set. Wouldn't it be Ravnica 4? Hasn't there been three Ravnicas already? I think you're right, actually. It would be Ravnica 4. Yeah. All right, we won that game. I didn't want to change anything after that. Every time I play Oko, I'm like, should I just have four of these? Straight out of Ravnica. I want a shirt that says straight out of Ravnica. Four Okos is probably correct. It feels terrible though, right? No, you don't have to do it. I think we can just play it as is. I think it's fine for now. But I do like the Urborg. The Urborg was nice when I had all those murderous riders in my hand. It's a murderous ride. I really like this. I'm liking uh, the experimentation of this format. The thing I'm not going to enjoy is when this format is solved, though, and it just becomes, like, four main decks just slamming heads against each other. But maybe that doesn't happen. Yeah, I'm actually pretty worried of that because, like, it's got a pretty big card pool, but, like... It's not as big as modern, right? right. Modern is solved. So, like, I feel like if they're, if they're going to solve... Is sorry, modern I solved? Less. I mean, there's a there's a main metagame with tier one decks, right? The thing I do love about modern is that you can play whatever you want. Like yeah, I feel I like I, I can I still. Know, I don't think you can say it's solved. I think there's definitely more powerful decks, but I think every once in a while you see a unique deck in them. Oh, for sure. And there's always like that's the thing I love about modern is like I can pick up a random brew that someone makes and still win matches with it. How many games we play with this deck? This has been. This is going to be our third. Okay. We lost. I think. I think we lost the first round to control that to the yeah. terrible draws. Terabad drawzles. Oh yes. Oh yes. I could not snap keep it faster. God, we should run the draw though. They went to six though. Modern does punish four converted mana cost things. I don't think this format's anywhere near as fast as Modern, which is great. It just feels like it feels more like an old extended, where you can like play you could you have to play more like normal games of magic that aren't like super busted and mm. They went to six, they are basically dead. I don't know why they don't like it's weird when whenever people put mulligan in the six, but they don't just concede on the spot. Because it's like I don't know, it feels like you're just kinda wasting your own time, right? <laughs> I think this card is fantastic. Like this this combination is just so unbelievably good. It just turns this into a bird of paradise. Oh fuck. Well, that's terrifying. This new format has me extended. Wow. Wow. Whoo. That's something. Oh wow, did they just go burning it during saying into nothing? So much for scary. Dang. Uh, uh. Why does this guy go to six? That's insane. It's not good. <laughs> I mean, for them, it's good for us. Every time I'm looking to six in paper, I throw my deck in the trash and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, like, really, what's the point, right? At that point, it's just like, I'm done. Give me a break. It is really awkward to have to ban Oko, but like, I think it has to happen, man. Like, <laughs> it seems too good. This is, dude. It's good enough in Pioneer and Modern. Oh, this guy doesn't Are people already playing Look, in modern? this is just a 3-3. Three, three. This people... is a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, yeah. You're right. It does nothing. And I'm like, I'm going to 5. Or I, I would go and go, I'd be going to 7, but now I'm going to 5. That's ridiculous. Oh, we can also just play Vraska and kill it, right? Yes. Oh, Jesus. This is bonkers. Also, all of these civil patches are going to come into play untapped next time. You haven't been following modern. Are people already playing Echo in modern? 
Um, not not yet, but we played it in a Sultai deck and it still felt amazing. So we've got to, if we go Vraska, we play one, two, three, four. We lose this. This guy's tapped. Vraska probably dies. Yeah, but it's not that big deal. Alternatively, what? We turn it into a food? And then what do we do? Ock, ock. Vraska goes to six, so nothing kills her. Yes, I think the, the, the plus one should actually be a negative one. I... I think it's not even. I, I don't even think it's like I don't yeah, even know they're thinking making plus one. So if we if we tap everything to Vraska, we have nothing on board but Vraska and Oko and a tapped bird. We can make this a three three. If we plus Vraska, she goes to six, and Oko goes to five, so he would die from both of these. Unfortunately, I think we just kill it with Vraska. Yeah, I think it's the best play. All right, well, target artifact or creature loses all abilities. Goes to five, then they kill Oko. Hmm. The problem is like Vraska dies instead. Yeah, but I'd rather have Oko around than Vraska. Which is interesting. All right. Oh, we could have actually no, we couldn't play Goose first. Never mind. If we played Goose, like we still we're still activating this only one time. So I mean, I guess we lose. I like Vraska because she is an engine with this and the, the cards and the life gain seem relevant, but. Right, because like, even if you, yeah, the, turning the plus one into a negative one still feels strong because even if you plus, even if it's negative one, you're still plus twoing him. So for every plus two you do, you can make two things into, into elks. Hmm. Well. Probably start playing some of those fables, thinning out the deck a little bit. Oh, we're definitely doing that. I don't give I don't give a shit about her work right now. Let's start making three threes because that's that's a that's a real thing to do. Oh, and we can also make a food this turn, which is great. Um, honk honk. Oh, I should have just got a forest. I have our work in hand. That was dumb. That was a misplay, ladies and gentlemen. In case you didn't know. They literally printed 36 Planeswalkers in one set this year, and Oko is better than every single one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's unreal, dude. Having a pseudo-beast within as a plus one on a three-mana walker is pretty bonkers, yeah. Yeah, it basically turns any creature into a into a 3-3. Three, three, a blank 3-3. Three, three. It literally does. I don't know why I said basically. Uh, add an amount of green equal to... Oh, sure. That's fine. That's, a, that's an elk. <laughs> All these cards that they're trying to, like, take advantage of... I don't even think we make it an elk. I guess we do because it like oh god, it adds so much blocks. mana now. Yeah, what are they gonna do? I don't know. Endray's forerunners, Emrakul, Ulamog. They're not playing any of that. Oh, that's weird. I thought they would be. Well, that's because you're stupid. <laughs> you're right. I'm so dumb. I wish I wasn't as dumb. But is he better than those thirty-six planeswalkers put together? That's the trick. Oko is actually the new Nicol Bolas. And uh, the Oath of the Gatewatch has to fight him next. <laughs> is Craterhoof legal? Uh, Craterhoof is not. Enray's Forerunners is. Okay. Because Craterhoof was uh, Innistrad? Avacyn Restored? Something like that? I think it was Avacyn, yeah. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely feel free to follow or subscribe. I stream at least five days a week. And um, you can also go to patreon.com slash franklapore and donate one or two dollars a month to support the channel. That's a great way to to show some support come on be a shill for very little i'm i'm shilling for my own my own content and livelihood here i really appreciate you guys i can't follow anymore i bet you can i bet you're not even trying hard enough i'm tempted to just almost steal this give him the food steal this oko goes to two but like if you look closely at oko's art he's got the infinity gauntlet hiding behind him <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna steal this how's that sound because it also gives us four mana because our devotion is four. Which is pretty sweet. 
I also do hope I get to a point where I can stop drawing lands, though, because that would be great in our 24 land deck. Yeah, who needs them? We got three threes. This also gets rid of one of the devotion for Nykthos as well by uh, not turning it into an elk. Thank you. Oh, we just won the game. All right. Wow, we played virtually one spell this game. <laughs> Plus the gooses, that's about it. The gooses just made, just gave us... Ranting Bob, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Elkthos. <laughs> like, this did... This killed this, sure. So this could have been any removal spell in our deck, basically. Right. So we basically only played three spells this turn. This made us a 3-3. It made us two food yeah, we, tokens. Yeah, we played two gooses, Oko, and a removal spell. That's and all we did. And it stole one of their creatures. We like, literally played four spells, and that's it. Two of them were geese, which are basically irrelevant. Oh, God. I, I just... This card is... Even when I'm playing it, it's overwhelming. Ooh, Cry of the Carnarium seems good here. Yes. I almost want to take the geese out, but I don't. Why? Oh, because they die to the... Yeah, because they die to the cry. Yeah, they've probably done their job by then. Honestly, I don't even know if we need it. Their deck didn't really impress me. That don't impress me much. <laughs> Sing Shania Twain. <laughs> don't impress me. What are you, my mom? God. Actually, Michael, I have news for you. <laughs> I am your mom. I am your mother, Michael. <laughs> Every time I play Oko, I'm like... Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Emrakul, the promised elk. Wow. Yep, you got it. Oh, yeah, I just realized, like, Oko literally can answer every Emrakul. Uh, it's harder to answer the 15-mana one because they do get an extra turn if they cast oh, it. Oh, sure. But usually people cheat. But you can play. still target it, yeah. That's insane. You could, they go show and tell. I and play like, 15 mana, and it's like, like, let's say for some reason, like, they didn't get the extra turn, and it's just like... I play Oko for. Well, three. they show and tell, right? They can show yeah. and tell into play, and you're just like, "All right, I'll make it an elk." You're like, oh, show damn. and tell. I'll put an Oko. Oh, you can't. Oh god, can I just draw Cry of the Carnarium here just one time? Interesting. I guess not. <laughs> Typical. Did you try cat combo yet? No, I have not tried cat combo. This is literally, you're looking at the second deck we've tried in Pioneer. I'm having a good time. I'd like to do this again tomorrow night, so. Is Carnage Tyrant stronger than Emrakul? We turn to the local elk for answers. You can't actually turn a Carnage Tyrant into an elk, so. Maybe. Hmm. You have, like, I want to see a drawing with, like, an Emrakul and an Oko, and Oko's like, this bitch? <laughs> oh, God. This card's another broken piece of junk. I wish I played this last turn, but then I couldn't play this. Because now I want to be able to go Tireless Tracker, Land, Gilded Goose, but I don't think that's gonna... Like... Actually, maybe we just don't care about that. We just play these two, then play Nyssa, and then play Villainous Wealth the turn after that. How does that sound? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. <sighs> I'm trying to just figure out if I want this and this. I can't do this. I want this. Nothing else? No, I'm just going to skip it. I want the ramp. You okay? Hmm? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Shut your mouth. <laughs> what was that funny shit you said earlier? We were talking about uh, <laughs> Solengar. Yeah, he has Hexriff. <laughs> yeah, sure does. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, he sure does. He sure does. You know what that means, right? You can't target him. God, Affinity with the clutch... The clutch clips. Is Solengar the drifting death? What did it no. That's not good. <laughs> it's got hexproof. Yeah. It sure does. 
Yeah, it sure does. Oh, come, wait, they just killed our food token? Brutal. Oh, God, I could care less about that, I'll be honest with you. That's desperate. Yeah, he sure does. All right, so did you play this? Oh, um, we know you have Land of War Elf in hand, right? Why didn't they play the Land of War Elf? Cry of the Canarium. Oh, oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. We untap. We have no forest is the problem, so this actually doesn't even do much here. This is the awkward situation where of the, like, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17 forests in our deck, we haven't drawn one of them. It is a bit awkward. It is a bit awkward. I mean, the funny thing is, if we villainous wealth for two here, we'll definitely hit something. That does not seem worth. I agree with you. I think we just play this anyway. Really? Well, she goes to six, and we get a blocker. We get to untap a land and block. So we got a blocker here. Block the one one, and then she'll take... Block, block. She'll take five. I don't know if that's great. Like Wicked Wolf, but like if we draw a forest next turn, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for Villainous Wealth, which I think is pretty strong. Especially with two Villainous Wealths. Whatever, man. You got the kind of loving that can be so true, yeah. Give me back, me, make me back. Michael B, baby. Man, if we had one forest, this turn would have been so much different because we could actually untap it, make a food, have an extra mana next turn, an extra food next turn. Wake root elemental. Untap a land, it becomes a 5-5 five, five with haste. It's the land. Okay, we want one forest so we can actually hit that for sure. If we hit one forest, we have four mana from the forest. Tap, tap. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which would be Nissa for six. Or Villainous Wealth for six, which lets us hit that. Come on. One time. Forest off the top. I have 17 ways to get a forest in the deck. 17 out of 49. That's like a third. One out of three chance. As soon as you say all that, you know you're not going to hit it, right? Like, see, so, so you have the classic too many outs problem. I can still exile this, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do it for three. See, if you only had like two forests in your deck and you needed to hit it, you would have hit it. Right, but I, since I, you have like I seventeen, too many. but since you have seventeen, too many outs. It's it's true. It's have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they have seven creatures, so they can definitely cast this guy. I kind of just want wealth here. For how much? I don't know. Enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. For six. We do it for three. We get this off the top. Maybe we hit like a sh two shitty creatures. Does give us a five, five. Any so non any No, we're not going to get it. Why? Uh, You may cast any number of non land cards that for max X or less from among them. So it's oh. got to be, they got to be cards that cost three or less. That's not so good. I guess it does get rid of that. Right. That's my goal here. Because I think if they play this, and if they ever have, like, a Nykthos, we're probably just dead. Oh, wow, we get a Steel Leaf Champion, though. That's pretty sweet. And then we can Court of Calling for... For zero? Okay. Uh, no, I'm good. That was actually not terrible. They do get to hit a Genesis Hider, but they don't have the real mana for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can Genesis Hider for five. It's still pretty good. It's not bad, but it's not. It's definitely not Wake Root on, on the top. Plus a, a forest, and we're still actually in really good shape. I think. Wake Root with Nick does for infinite mana, right? Oh, that would be infinite mana. Oh, because they can just keep on tapping it. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty sweet. Man, I love the purity of this format without, like, the information being spoiled. Like, when you don't have a defined metagame, people are just playing cool shit. 
And like you have to, you're like seeing new combos that you've never seen before. Yeah. Before all the spikes get to it, and then it's like there's like like who would play a wake thrash giant, right? All right. How much is this for three? Not four, five, not five. Interesting. Well, they got a courser. Interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, I don't know. How you do no, just do that for everything. They probably know that, like... Oh, alright. Well, they have a Nylea right there, so... Also, I don't think their attacks are great enough to kill Nissa. Right, we block two. They, we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Nissa will go to one. Alright. Green source off the top. Then we get a Nylea and a bunch of other stuff. Nylea would actually be online. Mm, okay, well... <laughs> it's like... It's just such a comical... Like, it's just... Come on. We can abrupt decay the... The big boy, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, so we can actually abrupt decay. What's the big boy? The, the Genesis Hydra? Yeah. I mean, I'd rather get rid of Reclamations or uh, Corsair of Crew Fix, right? I guess. What do we do about this? Cry. Cry the creature control trample. I don't think that's a big deal. We can't. We can't ultimate this next turn. That's true. So let's go one, two. Three, four. Play Wicked Wolf and kill. Oh, they have double coursers. That's pretty rough. I'm surprised how good this Reclamation Sage killing this food token was. Yeah, it actually was pretty relevant. I've also got Dollary Dues. <laughs> oh, God. As long as there are three more land cards. Sacrifice a land, search your library for a land, put on the battlefield, tapped. That guy gets any land? That seems really good. What are we killing here? No, I don't think the deck wants Leyland Abundance. We don't have enough creatures, and like, it's a terrible top deck. I'll just kill like a land werewolf. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's called an Elvish Mystic. Whatever, dude. Okay, one, two. It's only two to activate? Oh, wow. I thought it was three. Oh, they, they're going to shuffle away their Nylea, though? That's interesting. Yeah, they get a Oh, shit. How did you know that? God, because I just read the card. Well, that's I mean, how... it depends on what they have in their hand, because they can have infinite mana all they want. It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, thankfully, we got rid of this idiot. Yeah. And they're drawing that idiot. All right. All of our lands are now creatures. So, how much can they make? One, two, three, four. This comes down for free. And they make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, just seventeen. Okay, I'm, my concern is then they go like sack this, um, get like a, a Keswick Wolf run, and Sad then kill us. But like, thankfully, I think we can kill anything that they try to um, do that. Yeah. Get that cat combo deck in your bonds. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Ranting Bob, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I will put, I will put cat combo in the queue. From ranting. Bob. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you. You are awesome. Alright, I'm just gonna pass here and assume that they're not gonna do any kind of shenanigans. This is actually like I am Bob. Bob is English. In England, bounce means head. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Did you know that? Nope. Do you know anything? Nope. I knew it. God, I've been trying to prove it all these years and he finally admits it. Okay, they got Sylvan Care. I'm really... I don't know what this last card is. I think they're going to use... They're going to they're gonna save the red to get a kiss. Oh, they didn't save the red. Oh, fuck. What is this? What is this? Oh, God. Well, that would be the only red source, so... Okay, for 15. 
Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn, is not legal. Okay, what's the war... Oh, Enray's Forerunners. Absolute shit. I think we're dead. I mean, our, we have, we, our draws are terrible this game, unfortunately. Don't slow roll it. Just put the dude on the board. This does not seem like a question, right? Like, there you go. You figured it out. I'm gonna let him do it because I would want to. I would want to let it. I would want it to be done to me. <laughs> Put the bodies on the board. Oh yeah. If I if I make a food token, does that does that save us? Probably yeah. <laughs> okay. Just hit the attack all button. There's a lot of work you're doing here. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're making me want to concede now. You're, I'm trying it. to let you do it. I'm trying to give it to you, but you're, you're really, really pushing your luck here, buddy. <laughs> you're really. Stop! Stop! He's already dead. All right, let's block. You ready? Uh, three, three on three, 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 three on three, three, o oh, two on o oh, seven, five, four on three, four. You over here. Got him. What are you gonna do about that, Bonts? Bonts, I got nothing here. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's just over. Yep, all dead. Got him. Can't even lose now. Oh, we still lost. It was close Only though. Only by seven though. Hey, look, the or fucking forest. Of course, it shows up now. Fantastic. Take that in your bond. Yeah, that's right. We did. We actually took it all in the bonds, which is the worst <laughs> place to... Can you imagine if we drew a card of the Cry of the Carnarium that game? Their whole board is gone. I can only imagine. I can also only... Oh, Jesus. I'm going to keep this. Well, you're a madman. I have two three-mana Planeswalkers. Goose first or Thoughtseize first? Goose first, because any land lets us Oko. And we're not scared of their like early plays. You know better than to draw the next card. I do, but... Because it's always the one you needed the most. It's always the exact one you need. Yeah, chug that Gatorade. Get those electrolyzed. That's what plants crave. It is. I said get those electrolyzed. Mm -hmm. I said electrolyzed instead of electrolytes. That's how you know you've been playing too much GD magic. It's also 3 in the morning. It is Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> it's not Wednesday. It's Thursday. Land, 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 land. Ah, fuck. <sighs> it hurts so bad. All right, what do you got? Burning Tremissary Cord. I'm gonna just get. I'm gonna take this Burning Tremissary. I don't need you to play Slow and Care and, and Burning Tremissary. Yeah, I might as well take that one. It's still Wednesday here, my dudes. There you go. See, there you go. Where? Where is it Wednesday still? Mm. Where is it Wednesday? Because doesn't like Hawaii. Oh, in Hawaii. Wow. I guess that. Yeah. Okay, see, and this is just my life. Nah, we're fine. That'll be good. I mean, I think we have one more turn. I, what, I added the, come on. Just stop it. So next turn you can go Nylea, but that's not gonna, oh, you have two Courser of Crew Fix. Because of course you'll draw an extra Courser of Crew Fix. Still, then we take Forza Prefix. God. Hang on. I'm off to play some League of Legends. Hot Girls, thanks for hanging out. Oh, it's a Hornet. Hornet Queenums, you played a Corsair and a Nykthos. You're gone, you're gone. No, I think it's scoop phase. I really think this deck has been um, unfairly represented. I'm going to play one more match with it because I like it a lot and we're still low on. Do we just add... I don't. I think 24 lands with 4 geese and 4 silver carry added should be more than enough. Maybe we play one more land. No, 25 lands with 8 mana ramp It seems just excessive. You just need to shuffle better.
You know what you need to do? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Did you submit a standard deck in the Pioneer queue? Yes, and then I added Thought Seasons to it. See, like, this is like... I don't understand these one land hands. 24 lands. So let's be realistic. 24 lands is not too few to draw two lands. No. Keep it. I am going to keep it. I'm on the draw. I got two geese this time. Oh, it's Blood Smurf again. Shit. What was he playing last time? I forgot. Who cares, man? Oh, God. Playing. I really hope it wasn't that control deck. I think it was. I think it was, too. Oh, God. Here we go. Yeah, it totally was. <laughs> oh, jeez. Actually, we're by the draw right here. So we're definitely playing this. We could go abrupt decay, but we can't honk as well. So I think we're just going to honk here. I don't care about this. Are you okay? Yeah, we don't need to kill it now anyway. Yeah, it's not early yet. Exciting. Honk, honk. I mean, I'm a little afraid of. Don't forget to crack. I won't. Like, I feel like our deck has been in positions to villainous wealth, but we never actually had the villainous wealth. I think it's I think it's a black source here. And we're gonna draw Urborg ready. Oh, we didn't draw the Urborg. Well. Uh huh. Mm, okay. I think I'm just playing this in passing. I really don't want to use all both food on on Nebraska. So just have a counter spell. It's really rough. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. Let them do nothing. Okay. I, just, I mean, broke the case uncounterable, so you don't have to really worry about that. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so we're gonna make a food. Get a blue. Let's go to the end step. Crack you. Get a bluesles. Make a foozles. Foozles and a bluesles, like you do. Oh, I like it. That was a decent draw. Now we're talking. Can I see your hand? No, I'll never let you see my hand. Well, that's fine. But. Yeah, you got it. Now we can play a thingy. And we're going to plus. Probably sack a food and hit a land. We hit an Oko instead. Probably could have sacked a goose. Maybe that would have been better. That might actually have been better. Hmm. Well, then she's at six. I think she's pretty safe unless they go cast out, right? <laughs> yeah, then they have to tap out for that. Eh, that's actually fine. I mean, we don't have any food tokens, so it's really not that big a deal. So we hit a land. Oh, actually, we can go Oko, make a food, and then Vraska sack the food? That seems really good. Oh, wow. That's an engine if I ever saw an engine. What about engines? These are two BFFs, my dude. Create a food. <sighs> Turn five, three lands out of 16 cards. Sure. You can't bounce any of our guys. Do you have one more spell you can play? For, okay. You don't... Okay, so... Okay, that's great. Wow. Unless you have... Unless... Oh, God. They're just gonna... They're just gonna... They're just trolling us. They're gonna opt at instant speed. and It's gonna be really sad. <gasps> she survived. Oh, my goodness gracious. Create a food token. I'm liking it. Ba 
Ba ba ba ba ba ba ba So wait on that, but no, I can't because Teferi says I cannot play. Them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot. So this seems pretty good. I know I'm no expert here, but um, create a food. Come on, land. All right, we're doing it. We are living the dream. If you want to counter this, it's fine. <laughs> sure. This was just bait. <laughs> Good news. Oko and Vraska Incorporated gone industrial. The food production is going up. It's true. What is this? What is this you're doing? Four mana? Cast out? It's down? Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, you're digging through time. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Nope, that's not it either. I'm looking for the deck. There we go. Ooh. Scroll down in the chat, man. Oh, my B. Yeah, I'm like, it's it's. they have similar poses. They're both looking to the right. They're very relaxed. Oh, sure. That's fine. Oh, sure. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Why does that exist? Why does anything on Vine exist? Can we get Oko with 90 counters? Probably. Let's live that dream. Cast out. Sure. Unfortunately, we don't have an answer for that. But we do have another Vraska, so... Sometimes... Who even cares? Land's good. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, going for it. Oh, it worked. Oh, baby. Get him a body bag. <laughs> body bird? Yeah, body bird. Let's get Teferi. Mm, they can technically block if they want. They're going to pay costs. Yeah, they're going to chomp with that. That's fine. That's completely fine, my dudes. I guess you can bounce the land now, but that's not that big a deal. No, I'm just going to play Vraska here. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Create a food token. I'll sack of the food, huh? Could have killed the fairy there. But then they... Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I don't think, it, I, don't think I care. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'll just do it next turn, man. My dude. It is next turn, my dudes. Oh, uh, yep, you got it. Are you in a supreme verdict and get rid of my one? Oh, oh okay. That's fine. Kill That's all. That's annoying. I have Murderous Rider and Thoughtseize in hand. It's still annoying. Nah, it's not. Oh shit. Oh shit, yes. Yeah, boy. This is what we're waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. Murdered. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Tap all your manas. Well, we make another one first, right? No, I guess we well, tap first, then you do it. But then we can't attack. Who cares? I guess who cares? All is... the wealth. All the wealth. So there's nothing the they can wealth. do. No. We're not drawing cards. 
No, they're they're dead. Well, I kind of want to kill this first. We're going to go to combat, kill this, and then I'll tap all my stuff. <sighs> Whatever, dude. Well, because if they have cards like Teferi, I want to be able to draw. Oh, they have Vigilance. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. You one still forgot the Vigilance? One of us. One <laughs> of us. Green, one, two, three. Untap. Probably Basic Force. Sure. Safer. 9, 10, 11. Do it for 9, I guess. Seems good, man. Choose an opponent. I'm no Podiatrist, but... Podiatrist? Yeah. 8? Sure. What happened? Why can this? I can't cast them because. Oh my god! What? What I, happened? I, I can only cast spells anytime I can cast them as a sorcery. I should have killed this first. What would we have gotten? Oh, you're in your main phase though. But I'm. They're still on the stack. This is on the stack, so I can't. It's, I can't cast things at sorcery speed. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Just kill this idiot. Yeah, man, that's lame. That was dumb. Oh well, we live and learn. I'll draw another one. They're still incredibly dead, but yeah, I didn't think I was casting them. I thought you could just play them. Like I don't know. I guess that makes this. I guess that's the same thing. What would we've gotten? Detention. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Here, where's the eighth one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, no, that's what. There's a Deferi. But Sinister... No, we already... That's the one we killed, right? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. These are all exiled. I don't oh, fucking know. we won know. anyway. Anyway. We won anyway. Wicked Wolf can go... Um, Murder Rider can stay. Oh, that one Elder Spell. Specifically for this yes. matchup. Extra Thoughtseize. Seems good. Hostage Taker can go. Thoughtseize is in. Thought Erasure is in. Oh, the Negates are coming in for sure. Why would you cut, though? I don't know either. Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, because his other spells are better. Uh, Probably one Sylvan carry added. Sh sure. That's fine. Marvel's one of the only reasons I like Teferi. Do you think, do you think Teferi's a Marvel character? Wait, you said that? I think they're talking about Aetherworks Marvel. I was just oh. making a joke. Oh, Aetherworks Marvel is illegal. Yeah. That's my favorite deck. Is it really? Yes, I love that deck. I love that deck. Because you get to play Ulamogs, and I love playing Ulamog. Okay, take it easy. Me likey bouncy. What is that, from Family Guy? Yeah. Huh. Can we play that deck? You can shut the hell up, Michael. <laughs> You know what? This hand's not great, but it's not terrible, I don't think. It's got a thought erasure. Got better. Goosem. It's goose days, my dude. Go <laughs> it's goose day, my dude. Or that time we, uh... No. Yeah, you go either works Marvel for Ulamog, and then they just go Oko and make it a 3-3, and you're like... Dang, you're right. Well, yeah, but you get his uh, his his ability. Maybe so you, you do. kill the Yoko. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Maybe I do what? Uh huh. I'm gonna thought Erasure because I want you to play a three mana Planeswalker. I don't know what else you do. Yeah, we can play Goose or Sylvan Carry added. Not worth. Sabotage or commence the end game. We can play around the sabotage. Really? Like, if we drop, like, Oko or something? Yeah. No, they have nothing else to do. I'm just taking this. <gasps> Ooh. Um. I'm going to leave it on top. A little greedy, but We okay. got lands. We got two spe We got two more rampy boys. Is it greedy? They have nothing going on. Yeah, endgame costs, like, a million mana. They put a Gideon in the graveyard in the trash can. Island down. Oh, I was like, what are we going to draw here?
Goose them. One, two, three, four, five. We already have six mana. If we hit a land next turn, we can wealth for four. Meh. Oh god, just hit a Nissa, that's all. If I want to do it, I want to do it big. Okay, I like that that's not... So we know three of the four cards in your hand? You can just pass and make food tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can do it for four. It's not exciting. Nah. Gotta go big. Big, big, big. If we do hit a Nissa, though, man, it's like... What's up, Cannibal? It's like 10 mana. Actually, 13 mana. You deck key list out of date. Do you have a list? Uh, yes, but I'll get it after this match. It's also, I upload all these on YouTube, and you guys can check out youtube.com slash franklapore and find them there as well. You can use little peepers to check them out. That's how I look at things. Look at all these food tokens we got, man. You know how good Vraska is here? I would call it a solid draw. I'm going to do it for five. I'm just going to jam it? Because five is like the most expensive card in their deck. They might have a counter spell here. I mean, we can't play around that. Plus, like, if, you know, two if we hit, cards, like, Tefries so. and stuff. Yeah, of course. Oh, opt. Okay. For one. They'll probably hit. Rancy Bob, considering it's almost four in the morning, I'm probably going to save your deck for tomorrow. We hit just a Lyra. Four lands and a Lyra. That still seems, that still seems not terrible. Lyra still seems pretty good. I'll take a Bane Slayer Angel. I mean, if they draw, like... I'm hoping they don't hit fucking... Means a pretty weak threat. Supreme Verdict here. It'd also be pretty nasty to hit their Teferi to bounce it. I guess we have an answer to it, so it's not that big a deal. I have multiple answers, my dude. Thanks to it being Wednesday. The two most things I enjoy about Pioneer are Force of Negation as well as Ren and Six. Nice. I see, I see. Okay, that's not... Sweet. Oh, force negation is illegal. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. No, he's, oh, yeah, he's saying that oh. neither of those are legal. Which oh, is. Oh right, yeah, yeah. You're right. Those are from the stupid modern set. You forgetting? Two, three, four. Who's that a lady? Rascal lady. So they're gonna have six six, which we can easily kill. Who even cares? Let's fly over and kill him. Oh my god. Seems good. Looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. What's that, Applebee's? No. The thing I like about Pioneer the most is Mox Awful Blood Moon and Ensnaring Bridge. Same. Oh, they can actually play this and we can just Murderous Rider it, which is actually pretty solid. I'm probably just going to do that because they're going to be tapped out. Yeah, we still have another spell for their Planeswalkers, so... I just like having... I mean, we have Rask out, so like... No reason to risk the Rask here. Right. And even if they like Supreme Verdict here, we can still slam this and we still get to keep a Vraska, so I'm kind of okay with that. We also have Murderous Rider in the, in the queue. Who's that? Probably don't want to play it, though, just because of uh, Supreme Verdict. Can you stop telling me what to do? I'm sorry. Unbelievable. You're not my dad. I'm about to bust. So now they have this island in hand. And then four other cards. Four mystery cards. Don't care about that. It's sad that I can't do this. But what else are you going to reveal? Well, I hit a separate verdict. Do, do, do. No, that's boring. Boring! Doesn't this just kill your... Kill your dude? Next turn. What's the ultimate on this? Whenever a creature you control does combat damage to play, it loses the game? Yep. I say, I say, I say, god dang. Mm, seems good. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five. We can play Nissa. Why wouldn't we? That's a good question. I'm gonna sack a goose here. Hack. I'm gonna play this on tap because we're at 26, and I would like to play around things, I guess. Technically, he plays around Spell Pierce. Do you have it? Let's see if you have it. Man, always looking. Arguably, we could have played this first and tried to attack the Narset. Mana Leak is not legal, no. No, but Supreme I mean, if you have Veto, just Veto it, man. Sure. Basically the same thing. If they play a Planeswalker, can't we just go uh, put two counters on Vraska, ultimate Vraska, kill, kill you him. with Lyra? That would be pretty sweet. That seems okay. I'm a fan of that play. Ooh, they kept a card on top. Interesting. It's got to be an answer to Lyra, right? Well, they could go one, two, three, Teferi, bounce, one, two, three, four, five, recast Lyra. Which seems good. Sure. Okay. One one step down. Do we still have this opt note? We got rid no. of this. We still have the island. We haven't seen them play a th the extra island. Yeah, they still haven't played the island yet. <sighs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is for five. Oh, Tefri, Hero of Dominaria. Oh, snap. Unfortunately, they can tuck this, which means we don't have a threat anymore, and they will draw it eventually. Next to play land. Island, okay. Oh, yeah. Now they're going to jam the Teferi. So now they have two cards in hand. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I mean, if they don't hit a counter spell here, which I don't think they had multiples of, we just get to elder spell both of these things. Yeah, that's fine. So they put it into their deck. Oh, and they actually don't even get to untap. So wow. <gasps> oh man, we're one power away from just. That's interesting. Oh, we still Villainous Wealth here. Wait, if we Villainous Wealth for five, we hit the Lyra, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, or one shy, though. <clears throat> of playing both? No, of hitting five. Like, we can kill both. And we're definitely going to. Yeah, but we can't Elder Spell and Villainous Wealth for enough, right? No. Okay. Um, Black and black. 12 <laughs> um, I guess we just make an emblem here because that's really strong Two, three, four, five. why can't goose have one power god Gideon alright so you have literally one land okay yeah, that's pretty good is it whenever a creature field does combat damage to a player? Never mind. What are you gonna say? What are you saying to me? I mean, we can still Villainous Wealth and hit um, Lyra. Yeah. Lyra, yeah. Wow, that's a good draw. Is it? I mean, it bounces our goose. I guess I don't know. That's good. They get to draw another card. Sure. And then they get to pump this and kill Vraska, which makes it decent. So we know they have Hollowed Fountain in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana though. Yep. So make a thing. Hog hog. So they get one, two, three, counter on this guy. No cards in hand. 
two cards in hand. Oh, one card in hand, because this was uh, still resolving. Sure. Yeah. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah, I wish they had, like, one questing beast to punish them here. And just kill him. I agree. Well, they didn't keep up Dovin's... Oh, they still have this thing, though. Oh, man, questing beast would be a sick draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we just fill in this for four? It prevents them from hitting Lyra. Yeah, we should do that. And we have another one. Two, I mean, either that or literally four, just cast five, the six, two. Seven. Oh, it's fucking Tefri's out again. Oh, it's <sighs> really annoying. We would have hit. Wow, we would have hit three planeswalkers too. Oh my god, that's super annoying. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, that's not what we would hit. We got rid of Lyra, Tefri, Time Reveler, and a land. I guess. It's, it's fine we get rid of the Lyra. Like, I just don't want them to draw the Lyra, which they would have next turn. And we don't really have an efficient way to deal with it. So I'm actually... It's not terrible. Are you making that emblem was greedy? It, it might have been greedy, for sure. But this is also the fourth time we've played this list. And I'm not used to playing against Myth Realized. And it's so stupid that it, like, changes the stack like that. This guy. This guy. Now they have Search for Esconta up, which is pretty obnoxious. I don't know if we play this other goose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we do. It, it also is 4M. I mean, like, they can just easily hit um, Supreme Verdict with this when they have two looks, though. It's a problem. I guess we'll leave Graveguard and Reveal up. Oh, good. Wonderful. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, I feel like the Vraska was was the engine we needed, and I feel like us. I just figured we'd be able to attack sooner because we were actually dominating this game. But then they just hit Teferi, Myth realized is it seven double Teferi? Like it's just kind of obnoxious. I mean, if we can hit like an abrupt decay to kill this, like it's pretty good. Sure. This is where they hit Supreme Verdict. They untap two lands and then they cast it on our turn. Cast out. Okay. Well, that's still pretty good. Uh, no, we have no creature lands because there are none. Lumbering Falls is in the format? Oh, that's right. That's interesting. So is Hissing Quagmire, I guess. I was thinking of Creeping Tar Pit and I was like, oh, that's... Sad that it's not here. This is a good hit. This is a very good hit. You can't do it in this speed though, right? Yeah, it's got flash. Oh yeah. Herp derp. Herp derp is correct. And if we if we don't bait them into doing it, then they get to <sighs> This guy's so obnoxious because we have villain as well than and. Yeah, it's really stupid because like I don't get why you can't play them doesn't make any sense because this is on the stack while you're still resolving the spell so you can't play them because you can't play things at sorcery speed or you can only play them at sorcery speed and you cannot resolve a sorcery when spells are on the stack it seems like a weird loophole though that shouldn't exist it's the same way you can't resolve like a um a suspend spell i get why it happens i just don't like it okay well no sir i don't like it well, it's hard to beat double active Teferi, seven seven Mithraons, and the active Exaconta. I think this was I think this was our mistake this game. Also the the villainous I mean, I don't think we think the villainous wealth while they have um, no, I think we still had to do it because we, we had no way to deal with all that Right. So. It sucks, but 
I really like the Fetchland band, but not sure how it's going to turn out. I mean, I'm we're we're, we're literally witnessing it right now, though. I think it's fine. I've been enjoying the format so far. Yeah, I still think you can still pretty much play pretty much whatever you want. Oh, until your next turn. Make sure you can only do things and your opponents can't do anything. <laughs> God, I remember when they had one card in hand and it was like a land and we were like, oh, they can't do anything. And now they're like, just kidding. I have seven cards yeah, in I guess my going hand. for that emblem there when like we only have no power on board just seems kind of dumb. I mean, to be fair, like, if we draw an Oko, we have things that can attack immediately. If we draw Nissa, we can attack immediately. Like, we have plenty of things that, like, do stuff. We're just drawing ramp spells. Did they dig their time yet? Oh, there it is. There it is. Instant speed, supreme verdict. They also have 16 cards left. If we draw, like, Abrupt Decay for this Myth Realized, like... They could actually randomly just die. Well, no, because they still have Spring Verdict. Guess I'll add a green. Yeah, this game has been grindy. If you guys want to support the channel, be sure to uh, follow or subscribe on Twitch. It's a great way to support me. And I do stream five days a week, in case you guys are not regular viewers. At least five days a week. And... Um, They still have the Supreme Verdict though, right? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I mean, I still think we play it, although they probably have a Counterspell at this point, but... Well, the thing is, we play it, we make a land, they Supreme Verdict at the end of their turn, and then next turn they can just attack us with this guy. Yeah, that's true. So I guess we wait? I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five. We go one, two, untap, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'll forget the block. Even if they do it during their turn, like even if we go block, they go block. The funny thing is wealth does actually kind of mill them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can mill them for six. That's not enough, though. No, I think we just pass. Yeah, I can get behind that. We can go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. I like that I use my mana instead of the Sylvan Carry Adders that are going to die anyway. Unfortunate, but what am I going to do? I'm not going to play it, so. I don't think it matters. I'm going to activate my ass counter. Oh, they're just going to dig through time. Did they whiff? Did they just not hit anything? No, they dig through time. Oh, so I guess they didn't whiff because it never whiffs. Because that's not how it works, yeah. And they still have the cast out? Jeez. Yeah, well, I mean, they got nine cards, so. How much longer am I streaming for after this? I'm going to get out of here because it's 4 a.m. right now, so. Get a little of this guy getting in there for twelve. Can can I get can I do get one abrupt decay so that they don't have any win conditions? Is that possible? <laughs> Wait, like what if I what if I play this and make a land? I guess they counter it. They have eight cards. Why am I getting I'm getting like optimistic here, but it's like if they don't they can just 
Wow, that's unfortunate because like if we had one more land, if we had seven lands instead, we can go Thought Erasure and then Nissa. And this guy just kills us next turn, so this is actually really unfortunate. I think our only chance is to hope they don't have Counterspell, I guess. It's like a 0% chance, but... It is like a 0% chance, that is correct. Yep. Always fun. Always fun. Wow, that was only game two? I thought that was game three for some reason. Oh, God. There's a whole other game. Jesus. We haven't drawn a single negate. I'm going to take one negate out for one Assassin's Trophy, because like, if they do get Teferi down, like... I want to take out Villainous Wealth. Yeah, another Assassin's Trophy. Like, giving them lands is irrelevant. I think we should play another trophy. What about Unmored Ego? No, don't do it. It's terrible. Really? It doesn't work. Buff. Yeah, all right. Get for the biscuit. Yeah, you're risking it pretty hard, your buddy. <laughs> I, mean, I guess they're a slow deck, so we have time. That's annoying on turn one. Oh, that's annoying. All right, looking for a green, looking for a blue source here. Wow. The double myth realized. You can attack for one? No. Blue source! Come on, dude. I feel like we haven't had any real games this... I haven't, haven't had any real matches. I guess. A shitty planeswalker. <laughs> this is infuriating. Well, you could have mulliganed. That's true. We could have mulliganed. Could have mulliganed. So next time they just play a card, they have three, four. One, two, three, four. Frasca. If we kill this... Like, if they want to go activate, activate. If they want to activate these, they can also. Yeah, it's going to up. Nope. Oh, that's good. So they can go opt, three, four, five, attack for five. Oh, jeez. Double opt. Or single opt, I guess, and triple mithralized. I guess they're looking for one land so they can attack. Do they find it? Of course they do. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Nothing Nothing ever goes wrong for old Blood Smurf. It's okay, they only have five cards left. But of course. So just to be clear, we're going to play this. It dies immediately to 4-4 four, four, and 3-3. Three, three. Counterspell, Counterspell, Dovin's Veto. So three Counterspells and a Gideon. Cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I enjoyed this deck. I think we might... Uh, there might be some tweaking that needs to be done. Might need to go to 2 villains Wealth. I think the cards themselves are good, but like... I don't know, man. Like, we might need more blue sources. How many sources? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blue sources. It might not be enough. We might want to add one more, like, probably like one more watery grave and just cut one more forest. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you're watching on YouTube. You can check me out at patreon.com slash franklapore. You can check me out at twitch.tv slash franklapore. Coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. And Mana Traders is an amazing subscription service that we use tonight even to rent these pioneer cards and uh we'll be back tomorrow i will see you then guys have a great night and uh thanks for watching really appreciate it